Hi guys, welcome to our channel PKR Vibes Career and Growth. First of all, thank you so much for your time to spending here to learn something new today. Today we will discuss about uh, HMO and uh, PPO difference in medical building. So first uh, HMO stands for Health Maintenance Organization and uh, here PPO stands for Preferred Provider Organization. So here the main difference we will discuss now. The first point I given is uh, in HMO we have to choose PCP. Here PCP is nothing but primary care provider. PCP is also known as a gatekeeper is also known as a referring doctor. So why he is called as a referring doctor means he is giving referral to the patient to consult a specialist. So uh, that is why he is known as a referring doctor. But in PPO there is no PCP. That is the first point. So coming to the second point, uh, here referral is required from the PCP to consult a specialist for treatment because he is because here the patient is choosing the PCP. No referral required because there is no PCP for the PPO plan. And in HMO plan type, flexibility is limited in choosing the hospitals and doctors. And uh, coming to the PPO plan, flexibility is high in choosing the hospitals and the doctors. Coming to the HMO plan, in HMO plan, premiums are very low compared to the PPO plan. In PPO plan, the premiums are higher than HMOs since the PPO plan offers more flexibility. Guys, if you are watching my video first time and if you are not yet subscribed, could you please subscribe our channel PKR Vibes Career and Growth and hit the bell icon so that you will get every video as a notification to your mobile. So, your in HMO plan, mostly basic medical care and preventive care such as office visit, immunizations, well baby checkups and physicals are covered in HMO plan. PPO plan also these benefits are covered and also special treatment also included as well as in PPO plan. So uh, coming to the HMO plan, in HMOs, generally the HMOs are not well suited for the emergency since they have a defined procedure for emergency treatment outside its coverage area. Coming to the PPO plan, emergency treatments covered in a well suited way. So HMO plan is not that much well suited for the emergency. Coming to the PPO, emergency treatments are well covered. This is a point you have to note it. Okay, coming to the HMO plan types, restrictions are laid down by the HMO's range and scope of treatment. Because specialist can be seen only after a referral from a PCP. PCP may choose to refer to his own network or preferred group of doctors within the in-network HMO's doctors. So generally what I am telling in HMO plans there are a restrictions are there. Coming to PPO plan, there are a less restrictions. Why? Because referrals are not required to see the specialist in the network. That is why it is a less restrictive. There is no referral directly you can go for your specialist. So that is the point here in PPO. In HMO, one more benefit is there. Uh, Actually, it is not a benefit for HMO. Why? Because in HMO, there are a no out-of-network benefits except emergency services. And uh, in PPO, it is called as a benefit. Why? Because it covers the out-of-network benefits. So generally, you know, if you are working for AR denials, generally you see that, okay, uh, Patient have a HMO plan and uh, but the provider is PPO that's why uh, the claim is denied stating that out of network benefits are not covered as per patient plan type. If patient plan is if patient is there and his plan is HMO 
but he went to the doctor of PPO and uh, then then insurance will deny that your patient has a HMO plan which doesn't cover out of network benefits but if your plan type is PPO then definitely they will pay to your claim so simply you have to note point in HMO there are a no out of network benefits in PPO there are a out of network benefits will be covered and uh, coming to the HMO the cost sharing is very less cost sharing is nothing but PR1 PR2 PR3 PR1 is deductible PR2 is coinsurance PR3 is a co-payment so we all of you know right co-pay is nothing but on every visit he has to give some little fixed amount to the doctors like two dollars ten dollars five dollars like that and uh, in PPO cost sharing is very more why because he has less restrictive nothing but it doesn't require any referral it directly you can go for any doctor and also he covers out of network benefits all benefits they have right and also the cost sharing is also very more compared to the HMO in PPO plan so you have to note these two points very important one is uh, there is no out of network benefits in HMO in PPO out of network benefits will be covered and in HMO cost sharing is very less compared to PPO and uh, compared to HMO in PPO cost sharing is very more that is the point you have to note it in the difference for HMO and PPO okay in HMO plan type members can go only go to the specified network doctors after taking the prescription from the primary care providers so coming to the PPO members can go to the non-network doctors as well without taking any prescription from the PCP so in HMO definitely they will take the prescription or referral form from the PCP to go to the specified network doctors but coming to the PPO without prescription they can go to the non-network doctors as well but the point is in PPO this benefits all benefits are subject to pay higher deductibles and last point we discussed that the cost sharing is high in PPO plans compared to the HMO plans because the benefits also very high compared to the HMO in PPO plan and also the restrictions are very less so that is why a PPO plan is uh, having high deductibles compared to the HMO plans only cost sharing is very high so uh, guys uh, this is my video uh, regarding this HMO and uh, PPO plan difference if you felt this video is help help to you could you please like my video so that it will reach as many more needy people and uh, this is the help I am expecting from you and uh, guys really thank you so much for your valuable time and thank you for watching this video and uh, have a good health bye for now